Hey everyone! So, in the last tutorial we made the character uh, do transitions and now in this tutorial we'll um, attach a few new states to the um, Enum blueprint to make the character actually look like he's left climbing. Um, the first thing we need to do is to make sure that the skeletons of the animations from the Enum setup pack and the adventure kit match. Um, the skeleton is used the silicon used is from the starter, from the uh, animation starter pack, so it is, com is, is exactly the same skeleton as the mannequin, uh, the default mannequin of UE4. However, since we have imported these two, um, these as a, this as a feature pack, the engine kind of doesn't know that the skeleton is actually the completely same one. Uh, in order to fix that, we'll select both both of the skeletons and we just replace references, which means the engine then knows, okay, it's the same asset. The, one, the new asset gets deleted, uh, the new asset um, gets overwritten. Uh, and so we'll change this to, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, you can just select one. This will take a while, okay, it's quite quick. I'll just save it again. Okay, that takes a while. And now the uh, standard blueprint, there we have it, can use all the animations that come with the adventure kit. If you have a different character set up a different skeleton then you might want to retarget them but that uh, is for a later tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we need to know if the character is ledge climbing. So for that we'll get a new variable, create a new variable, we'll call that movement whoops, movement mode and this will be an adventure kit movement mode. So this is a, let's compile this, this is the um, movement mode the character is in and if the character is ledge climbing then this will be set to ledge climbing. Next thing is, next thing we need to do is to uh, actually set the value in the event graph and let's just inject our new code after the already existing one. So this is the already existing one and then we'll get the create the pawn, pawn owner casted to an adventure kit character get the movement component and from that we'll get the adventure kit movement mode and we'll set this to our variable. Okay. So now we actually need to have it um, do something so we'll switch to the enum graph, go into the default state machine and from there We'll put, um, put create a new state. Call this ledge climbing, and we'll go there if the movement mode is equal to ledge climbing. Okay, so whenever the character is in the ledge climbing movement mode, it will go to this state. And here we'll put in the Ledge climbing uh, blend space. Okay. Okay, so far, so good. Now let's save this and test if it actually works. Yeah. The character now does the ledge climbing uh, animation. However, it doesn't like um, go right or left yet because the blend space doesn't get any input here. Just to demonstrate uh, what it would look like with an input, we'll just put in the speed variable. Now we can see the character is actually climbing. However, it's just climbing in one direction because the um, speed variable just goes from 0 to, I don't know, about 600 and we actually need to have it go into the negative for the character to do the left climbing animation. Okay, go 
back into the um, blueprint here. And now let's take the velocity here and convert it into local space. That means that uh, when the character is climbing right or left, the y component of a vector is just set. Um, so we can decide whether or not the character is actually going in a specific, specific uh, direction in local space. First we need to get the actor transform. Uh, actually, we'll need to get a reference to our actor. And from that we get the actor transform. And then we inverse transform the direction of the velocity. Which means um, the global direction is converted into local space. Um, so uh, left and right will be uh, the so um, let's just see if we break the struct win and the y component will be our velocity in the left or right direction of our character. Uh, and we'll put this into a variable which we call local velocity. Okay, set that. And we jump back into our ledge climbing, remove the speed, get our local velocity vector and use the y component, which is left or right. Compile it again. And now, we go on a ledge, the character is actually climbing left or right. Okay. So this is kind of how you can uh, have different animations on, on ledges or ladders. And in the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can actually drive transitions with the NM Blueprint. And uh, when doing this, it will no longer be necessary to have the transition logic in your character Blueprint, because it can be entirely driven by animations. Uh, this is, of course, optional, but this is how the default kit character is set up. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and see you in the next one.